A big movie is coming out today all over Jacksonville, and it's called Zootopia. And we have on the line right now an actor who's lending his voice to the project, Nate Torrance. Good morning, Nate, and thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks so much for having me, Mark. All right, if you can, can you give me an overview of Zootopia and what families can expect? Yeah, you know, it's, um, it's a movie that takes place in a world where only animals exist. They've kind of um, are the humans of this world, and dealing, one, with... Ah, uh, some of the frustrations it is to be predators and preys, but then in the mix of all of that is a really cool whodunit where we're following a cop and a fox try to figure out a crime that's been committed. And we learn a lot along the way kind of about ourselves and, and humans. <laughs> that's the pitch, I guess. <laughs> My kids see all the commercials and they're excited to see it. Let me ask you this, what character do you play? Um, yeah, I play uh, uh, Officer Benjamin Clawhauser, and I am this very lovable and chubby cheetah that works for the Zootopia Police Department. And I become uh, one of the closer friends of Judy Hopps, who's the bunny, uh, Jennifer Goodwin's character in the movie, and uh, kind of take her under my wing as she's getting teased a little bit by all the other police department people because she's just a bunny. <laughs> Now, I know you've done other voiceover work for animation. What's the hardest part about that? You know, uh, I, I think it's honestly just letting, letting yourself go into the character. Sometimes we wanna, we're very self-aware as, as humans and as actors, you know, because when you feel a camera on you, 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 you kind of are very aware of what you're doing with your hands and your face. And um, with animation, you're allowed to let go of all of that. And that's an exciting thing, but it's also a little scary thing um, to, to get through. But, uh, but Disney's the place to do it. They, they're amazing at directing and, and making this really fun environment to just play around in. It seems like such a fun job. So how did you get into voiceover work in the first place? You know, it, it, it's, it's funny. It's, it is a very small and tight-knit community. Um, I've been acting for about 15 years, and uh, that's all I ever wanted was, or, you know, I was always telling my agents and managers, man, if there's any way I could get an audition um, or get into this. And finally, you know, I started to get a little bit specifically through Disney, and then I, my first job was for um, a Disney XD show called Motor City. And um, it was amazing. Um, uh, show and amazing people and once you kind of you know get into it it's, it's one of those crazy things that work kind of begets work out there that uh, you start to know people and and they start to bring in for other projects it just seems like such a fun career I right, let me uh, ask you this what was it like working for Disney Oh, you know they live up to the hype. It's it, it's an amazing their their creative process is 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 just mind blowing. It, it, it melts your face <laughs> because it, what's funny is you have. I've been working on this for four and a half years in all reality, from the very first time I read the script until right now, and to watch them recreate characters and build the story and build the characters and uh they're just they're kind of brilliant people i mean they they've got a machine over there of of about 25 writers that they just know how to write they know how to 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 make you love the characters and fall in love with them and take them on a journey and yeah i have much respect to them uh they live up to it all right nate hey thanks again for joining us we appreciate it for more information on zootopia and where it's playing just put zootopia into a google search coming up on river city